Welcome to another episode of Soupy Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make uh, strawberry cream cheese, French toast, casserole bake. So, let me pull you down to see. We'll show you what I got. What I'm doing. Okay. I've already got um, my bread and some strawberries and a layer of cream cheese. Um, what I did is I got some croissants off the Ipsy bin and I just broke them up and then I had about three biscuits. I broke them up. So we split our layers. We've got a layer of our bread. I've got half of our strawberries cut up. That went down. And then I got half of our cream cheese cubed and went down. And a buttered casserole dish. A 9 by 13. So now what we need is our mixture. And um, we've got eggs. I got a little bit of sugar. Some maple syrup. And vanilla extract. So we're just going to mix this all together. And milk, if I didn't say. I think we're good. Wait a minute, I see a little yolk there. Okay. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our casserole dish and we're going to put half of our egg mixture down. Let it start soaking up. And now we're going to come and start layering again. Um, a uh, French toast bake is good to use up some stale bread or anything like bones. You've seen me do it, tearing up hamburger buns and hot dog buns left over from a cookout. Okay, the rest of the strawberries, and you can see they're starting, starting to leak out some of their juices since I cut them. So the strawberry juices are going to flavor your milk mixture, okay? So, get them all in here. Kind of press them down. Okay. Then we're going to pour the rest of our egg mixture right over. Don't forget your corners. Real good. Okay, that bread's going to start soaking it up. We'll kind of press it down. First, I'm going to start soaking up that mixture. Because, you know, it's good and stale. I let my... When one got them off the oopsie thing, they were a little bit stale anyway. So, I even let them get staler. A little bit more stale. Maybe staler is another word. Okay. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the rest of our cream and cheese. Just cut it into cubes and drop it. Now, just think you could do this is strawberries, they're getting right now in the season. You could do it with peaches, <coughs> it'd be peaches and cream. This is gonna be a strawberry and cream. You could do a blueberry and cream, <coughs> all kinds of little fruits. Strawberry rhubarb, all oh, would be so awesome. Okay, I'm just finished cutting this up. And don't worry about the recipe. I'm going to post it below under the video. Down in the description, you might have to scroll a little bit. Got another little piece. Okay. I got a lot of cream cheese, so let me just take back my knife to kind of scrape it and get it off. I'm gonna have to wash my hands too. 
Okay. Okay. <clears throat> what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to let this sit here for about 30 minutes and let it soak up all the mixture. And then we're going to pop it in a 350 degree oven and cook it till you know our um, eggy mixture is done. Cream cheese is coming kind of like milk in it. And so that's going to probably take about 40-45 minutes or more. I'll see you back with video two.